Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to review the update that caused havoc throughout the SVR community. 1.5 has caused havoc within the Stafford County Railway community, with people complaining that there are too, not enough training for each of the new roles that got added. So let's talk about what they actually did add in Stafford County Railway 1.5 update. Who remembers the paper trains that used to be all over the Stafford County Railway network? Well, from this update, there are zero paper trains across the whole of the Stafford County Railway network, with all of the waterline trains finally being upgraded to new gen, like the 165, the 166, and the 730, and also the 382 in Connect, and as well as a waterline branding that nearly all, but not a couple, like the 508 and the 319 have received. But the main thing about this update was guards. From now, dispatchers can level up to another rank without applying for signaler role, and this role is quite realistic using local door switches and torching with dispatchers. Some trains allow you to sit in the cab, which is a really cool aspect, which is probably one of my favourite parts of being a guard in this version. With the high demand for new guard roles and the large amount of dispatchers, there has been a lot of toxicness around the SCR community, with even the larger trainings reservations. Talking about reservations, they've added a new reservation system so people don't have to just spam click to try and get into a training. Although, with the amount of the people who are wanting to apply for guard role and wanting to go through the training, as soon as a slot is opened, loads of people are reserving, which has made some people experience overbooking within the trainings. Which is quite unfair for some people who thought they had a slot, but in the long run, wasn't able to have one. Another small minor thing that they added in this update was new uniforms for guards, as well as letting you dispatch at new places and the server limit finally coming back to 30 players. Hopefully we can get that 100 player server soon. But what didn't they add that people thought they would add? There were things that people were expecting to come in version 1.5. These include some map upgrades that people thought and even map extensions as well as the scenery of aspects. Such as the waterline extension beyond James Street and the Morgantown shuttle. But what I think should be focused on a little bit on my view of Stafford County Railway is if you look on the Trello board you can see that it's got plans for predictive platform allocations on station boards, dispatchers being able to pick what platforms, the sound upgrade and the aspect of delays. That will improve SCR in my opinion and that's probably one way that I think SCR can go for the future updates. Now that I've gone through all of the route aspects and the additional features of the update, I want to have a look at the new gen trains. I personally think that all of the new gen trains were made brilliantly. The 380 looks like a lovely model, the 165 and the 166 look lovely too, as well as the 730. The 730 though, as it's not actually seen publicly, I don't know if it's 100% relatable to the real life model, so I guess we'll have to wait until the 730s finally come out, which are due at the end of this year or next year, to compare it against the SCR model. But with all the paper trains now turning to new gen trains, what have they got to upgrade on the trains? Well, they've got the engine sounds upgrades, which I also talked about, that's been stated on the Trello board, as well as recently, Matty tweeted out, smooth train. I think there's gonna be a smoothing period, as well as new gen two, like version two thing, where it just makes the trains more optimised. So any of the new gen trains that are laggy for users, I think they're going to try and optimise them so it performs better for all people. As with 30 player servers, they are definitely wanting to try and get the servers to a high amount of people and making it more optimised. For example, on mobile, it's now more playable than it used to be, which is something they've wanted to do for ages. Anyway, I'd like to give a humongous shout out to Too Far Fetch for helping me get all the information, helping me make the script. He's brilliant. He does SER content on Twitch as well if you want to watch that. Uh, he does streams and it's awesome. Yeah, go check him out. Link's down below. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and remember, hashtag God's good to 1K.